Leadership is hard to divide, and good leadership even harder. But if you can get people to follow you to the ends of the earth, you are a great leader. That quote was said by Indra Noyi, the former CEO of Pepsi. She was right. Leadership is definitely hard to define as I was doing my research. There is no how-to of how to be a great leader. Um, any steps that you may find of a how-to book, you have to make it your own. And that is what a great leader is. We have all experienced a leader at some point in our lives. A leader can have different roles. A coach, a teacher, a boss, a pastor, or even a parent. How many have stood out to you? Why? Did you learn from them? Respect them? If you have someone in mind, you are probably thinking about someone who was kind but tough, treated you with respect, and let you think for yourself. They were a true leader. Leadership is something that I've been passionate about for many years, and I'm fortunate, to work, fortunate enough to have worked for a company for the last 12 years who actually believes in their leaders. They spend time and money investing in us. Throughout my 20 plus career as a manager, I can honestly say that I haven't always been the best leader. I would actually only consider myself to be an actual leader in my field today after all those years, and I'm still learning. In my research, I have found that leadership is hard to define, but there are three basic leadership styles. They are transformational leadership, transactional leadership, and then the absence of leadership. Now let's explore some of these styles some more. Transit. According to the International Journal of Human Resource Management, transformational leadership has four sub-styles. Idealized charisma or influence behavior, inspirational motivation, intellectual stimulation, and individualized consideration. Transformational leadership is the set of abilities that allows a leader to recognize the need for change, to create a vision, to guide said change, and to execute the change effectively. This is defined in Business Essentials 11th edition. The sub-styles of transformational leadership create, different, create a different type of mindset. A transformational mindset is important to set the tone of how you are perceived by others. The leader uses their charisma to influence their behavior. They are basically well-liked. Intellectual stimulation empowers the employee to think for themselves with the guidance of the leader. Inspirational motivation creates a culture where the employee does an exceptional job because they actually want to. They are inspired to. With individualized consideration, the leader brings out the good qualities of the, of the individual and uses that to develop them. Transactional leadership focuses on only two sub-styles. These styles are constructive transactions or contingent reward and management by exception. According to Business Essentials 11th edition again, this style of leadership is comparable to an actual manager. It involves routine and regimented activities. Construction transaction, constructive transactions are reward and consequence based. This stuff style uses positive and negative reinforcement to get their people to perform. Management by exception is defined by the International Journal of Human Resource Management as a leader who monitors performance and reacts only when critical events or performance problems are in place. By only stepping in if there is a problem, they only embrace change when it is necessary. Transactional leadership doesn't sound like the best style to have. However, it is extremely necessary to run a successful business. Having routines make most people feel safe by knowing what to expect. I know it makes me feel good knowing what I'm doing every single day. And honestly, who doesn't like to get a reward occasionally? I do. The last style which is the absence of leadership, has no sub-style. It is basically, I'm sorry, this style is also called laissez-faire. This type of leader is passive and not engaged in the work process or their employees. They do not set clear goals, 
expectations, or have a vision. Now some may like to work for a leader like this. They might like being able to do whatever they want, whenever they want to, just as long as they're getting their job done. Whereas others may feel as if their work is unimportant and ultimately become complacent. After learning about these different types of leadership styles, I started to wonder, where do I land? Which one should I be? I decided to do some more research and found that also according to the International Journal of Human Resource Management, the optimal leadership style is a mix of all three. Yes, even the absence of leadership. It turns out that people respond to leaders who inspire them, let them make their own mistakes, let them think for themselves. They enjoy feeling like they matter, like, and like they like getting rewards for a job well done. Before I end my presentation, I wanted to leave you with another quote. There were so many to choose from, but this one by Maya Angelou stood out to me. I've learned that people will forget what you said People will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. Thank you. And I had it pumpkins. <laughs>